Is he a good kisser? I think the f- uh, A married couple were Olivia and Jackson from Married at First Sight. They were the last couple on the show to still be together. People were invested in their love. Yeah. But it's all gone wrong because of something that happened this uh, the Friday night just gone. And it's led to um, Olivia and Jackson at Sydney Airport where Olivia picked up Jackson the other day, or was it yesterday, and uh, listen to the question she got asked as they're walking out of the airport. How are you feeling, Olivia? Are you guys staying together? Are you staying together? And so that sorry, question, sorry, what? but why has she gone to pick him up from the airport after this has happened, knowing full well that there would be media types there? I, I, come on. No, no, don't be cynical. Come on. The fact is... She is heartbroken. Uh, We believe she's already headed off to Europe. I mean, she probably picked him up just to haul him over the coals for one last time (laughs) before she jetted off forever. But it's all because of Friday night and a video that's gone viral of Jackson kissing a young woman. Her name is Hannah Hughes. She's 20 years old and she joins us right now. Good morning, Hannah. Hi, how are you going? Look, Hi. we're good. We're good, but you uh you're in the middle of a storm, aren't you? Oh, unfortunately, yes, I am. Yeah. So, uh Hannah, you uh you're a Hughes and and uh, we've got I the am. same last name, so that's I good. Know. My long lost <laughs> yeah. cousin. Long lost cousin. I appreciate that. You didn't say great uncle. I appreciate that. So, <laughs> grandpa, <laughs> you're 20 years old. On Friday night, you went to an, an outer suburban nightclub and you saw Jackson from Married at First Sight. Is that right? That's right. Yes, I did. And you knew who he was? Yeah, I knew of him. I'd seen some clips of him on TikTok and Instagram and stuff, but I didn't watch the actual match show, so... Yeah, but you saw the promos and stuff. So, you, and were you with the friends that you were with? They knew who he was as well. So, did you have a bit of a discussion? That's that guy from Married at First Sight. Yeah, I'd walked into the club and my friend was like, "Oh, that's Jackson from Matt's. and I was like, "Oh, okay. Well, let's go talk to him then. Like, yes. why not? <laughs> because this is an outer suburban nightclub. Of, for what does people that mean, like, an outer suburban? Like, it, well, it's not in the middle of Sydney. Sydney you know what I mean? Yeah, it's not right. where all, it's not where all the Hollywood celebrities congregate. You know, this yeah. is like. It's fair to say you're on the outer edges of Melbourne, this nightclub. That's fair to say, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you don't Love no- Lounge. <laughs> Love Lounge. You don't normally get big celebrities in there. No, no. Not that I've seen so far. Right. So, so the first celebrity so, sorry, you've Jack- ever seen. Yeah, him. right. Well, he was. Yeah. The, the, yeah, so the, yeah, I'd say so. So everyone is looking at him, basically. Um, I mean, I couldn't really see, but yeah. <laughs> And so you went up to talk to him and, and, and you said, hi, how are you going? And how, did, how quickly from when you first started chatting to him, did you pass him or did he pass well, you? I think I got there around maybe one thirty two and closes at 2.30. So yep. it would have been between that because I'd gone up to talk to him, then I went off, did my own thing with my work friends and my friends, and then we went back and had a conversation with him. And yep. then... One thing led to another, my arms are around him, and we're kissing. So, Hannah, would you say that you were the instigator of the kiss or was he the instigator of the kiss? I feel like it's probably a mutual thing. Like, as you can see in the video, we're both, my arms are around him, he's wrapped his arms around me, and then we both go in at the same time. So you said said innocent, the word innocent, it was innocent. Do you stand (laughs) by those comments? Yeah, for yourself. So clearly you're single, yeah. But he's I mean, he wasn't at that stage. So you you'd probably agree it wasn't innocent from his behalf. No, absolutely not. I mean, he's apparently he's married, so it's definitely innocent from my side. I mean, I'm twenty year old single. Yeah, now. you're just you're just, you're just, you're just passion you're a passion dash and like as most twenty year olds are. So yeah. but yeah, exactly. so did, did did you know that he was still with Olivia before the kiss? No, I don't keep up to date with that. Like, I really don't watch it. So it was a lot for me to, um, you know. Did he mention? Did, did he mention Olivia? Like in the conversation before the kiss, was his partner mentioned at all? And be honest here, come on. Uh no, I don't think so. I I think we'd spoken about maths and like you know how the whole reality TV looks so different from what it really is and all of that stuff. Mm. How it's taken all out of context. I'd say that'd be yeah. a well-versed line that he would use fairly Probably. often. Are, are you upset? Like, are you angry that, that you weren't given all the information before you passed? Like, do you feel a bit used? Um, I'm not 
angry. I think it's just put me in a very uncomfortable position that I shouldn't be in. But at the end of the day, like it's happened and I think we just deal from it from here. So are you did he get your number after the kiss? He did. So we yeah. walked outside and yep. I'd walked up to him to say goodbye. And then I was like, oh, do you want my number? Like, you know, just oh. joking around. Yeah. And then he handed me his phone and I put my number in it. Yeah, right. Yeah. Have you, has there been any contact between you and Jackson since uh, since Friday night? No, zero, none. <laughs> yeah. Would you be up for, now that he's broken up with Olivia, <laughs> would you be up for a relationship with Jackson? Possibly. Probably not. I mean, I'm living my best 20-year-old single life. <laughs> <laughs> And to be honest, I'm why not- would you want to date a bloke who's going to go to another city next week and <laughs> cheat on you, right? Exactly. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. what do you mean? Oh, oh that's easy. he's a young bloke. It's, I mean, these okay, things happen. Okay, he's a young bloke. If he's a young bloke and he doesn't want, he wants to have fun, <laughs> absolutely amazing. Don't have a girlfriend who oh. who gets hurt in the process. All right, Simple. Olivia. Have you, oh, Olivia, have you copped any heat online because of this? Pardon? Have you copped any heat? Is it, have people had a go at you online or anyone, like, said you're a home wreck or anything? Oh, there's been a little bit. I've got to admit there has been, but a lot of people are being positive about it. So, <laughs> Oh, in what way? Fine. Like, what kind of stuff? That's nice. Oh, they're just saying, like, oh, you know, you didn't know. It's not your yeah. fault at the end of the day. You're not the one in the relationship, so you shouldn't have to go out and ask every single guy that you kiss if they're in a relationship. Yeah, that'd be good, exhausting. Is he a good yeah. kisser? Is he a good kisser? I think the fact that I don't remember it proves a lot. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Olivia. Thank, right, thank you. you. Hannah, it's Hannah, not Olivia. Oh, <laughs> That's sorry. The other one. <laughs> if you really, 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 really liked this video, please click on the like button as well as the subscribe button so you can be notified of more videos like these.